Hey guys, how are we doing today? Uh, we are going to take the thumbnails and make banners. So if you've been following along the, with this strategy, uh, we're going to use these banners in our bonus pages or you can use them on the side of your website or wherever you want to put the banners, okay? All right, so um, let's get started. We're going to use a software called GIMP. It's GIMP.org. It's a free software. All you have to do is download it, and you can see that right here. Download this one right here, and uh, you should be all set. All right. This is what it looks like when it comes up. And I'm going to go ahead and drop myself down because I will be in the way. All right, so first thing that you need to do is hit File, New. We want to change this banner size to 300. And we want to change the height to 250. And hit OK. All right, so if you need, uh, you know, the most popular banner sizes, you can Google this. It's not that hard. I had to do it myself, and, you know, 350 by 250 is a popular size, 250 by 250, and there's other ones. There's a lot, lot of other ones that you can use. So, All right, so the next process is we're going to hit File again open a layer and here's another thing make this easy put this in your desktop or put it in your pictures uh, that way it makes it easier for you to find guys I didn't do that because I have a whole folder full of my thumbnails and I put it somewhere weird <laughs> so let's find them there, another one download somewhere. And for some reason, my internet is slow today again. I think everybody's on the darn tube. So instead of doing something constructive with their life. Travel. All right, and there. All right, so there we go. All right, we'll do this one. All righty. So basically, what we're going to do with that one. And that's what you see. See this big square right here? This is the thumbnail. Alright, this is 100% probably. What we need to do is shrink it down. There's a tool right here. It has a little box and an arrow. Click on it. Click on the uh, picture. Come over here. Put 300. Put 250. And hit scale. We're going to come down here. Let's see if we can get my movement tool. Alright, it worked. I didn't have a problem. So, no, it did not work. Alright, so uh, if that happens to you, you come up here and say edit, undo, and we are going to hit this. Now, usually you can go up there and hit the movement tool. This, this one right here. But for some reason, it is not working for me. Now, now, you can probably do this on paint, but it, it just do not look as good. It, it doesn't form it right. Um, so the next process is, hit file again. We're going to export it. And uh, let's just, I'm going to just put it in. My, see what happens here. You watch this. If you hit save or whatever, it's going to come to your documents. So we want to put it in a file. I'm going to put in my, my downloads. And we'll name it 300 by 250 
and name. I don't even remember what it was. So I'm gonna name it. 